I'm gonna hit record now. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We hope you had a great fall break. We're gonna get back into the swing of things, okay? So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're gonna get started. If I can get this over. Okay. Everyone see the screen all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So yeah, Pedro. What's that name? Yeah. It's Pedro. Pedro has a birthday yesterday. He turned 18. Wow. Oh, happy 18th birthday by Pedro. <laughs> but I actually forgot the most important thing. I forgot to say good morning to everybody. I'm so sorry. Good morning, Michael. Thank you for coming to school today, buddy. How are you doing? You look good. Did you have a good week off? Yeah? Awesome. Can we all say hi, Michael? Hi, Michael. Hi, buddy. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> nice waving, buddy, and a good smile to go with it. Good job. All right, next up we have our friend Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Smiling. Thank you for coming to see me. Good job, everybody. All right. So now I'll share my screen and we'll sing our friend Pedro. Happy birthday, really quickly. Happy birthday, Pedro. Yeah, exactly. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence uh, is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard. We add. So Pedro in the picture has a sombrero on, I believe, and he looked like he was having like a taco themed birthday party. So I thought we could sing to him in Spanish. All right, we'll just do a little second to wish our friend Pedro a happy birthday and then we'll get started. Cuántos años tienes, Pedro? Pedro. <laughs> Pedro is Cuántos años tienes? Eighteen. Eighteen years old. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, take a second to wish our friend a very happy birthday. And then we're going to get started. Where did my presentation go? Sorry, everybody. Let me get back. I got to start over. That's okay. Thank you for waiting, everybody. I got to get back to our slideshow. Computer is going slow today. Waiting. It's slow. All right. So, first on deck, we're going to get our wiggles out and we're going to listen to Shake Them Skeleton Bones. This was a song that we listened to a lot last year during Halloween time. And I know our friend Miss Ruby loved dancing to this. So this is your chance to get up and move around 
and dance and shake the skeleton bones. Jennifer. Today we're going to be reading a story about Halloween. Then we're going to listen to the Five Little Pumpkins song. And then we're going to do some counting, okay? So first we're going to read a story. Who is out on Halloween? If you see here, there is a witch. Oh, some people will be dressing up as a witch for Halloween. Okay, a witch wears a big hat on their head. There is a wizard. Ooh. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. They also have a hat on their head, but they have a wand in their hand for their magic spells. So some people may dress up as a wizard. There is a werewolf. Ah, a big werewolf. scary werewolf. And then there's a vampire. So some people dress up as vampires on Halloween. Ooh, a little scary, huh? Yeah, look at your blood. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's a skeleton. We were just shaking our skeleton bones. Skeleton so some bones. people will dress up as a 
skeleton. Okay. And then there is a goblin, which is a silly little creature. Huh? Some of these things aren't real. They're pretend. And then there's a mummy. Mummy. And then there is a ghost. Gross. Last year for Halloween, we dressed up as Pac-Man and their ghost. So that is what we did last year as a class. All right, so that was the little story about what people dress up as for Halloween, okay? So next we're gonna listen to the Five Little Pumpkins song. We kind of did this the other day, but we did the Five Little Apples. So now we're moving on to pumpkins because we're in the month of October and that's when we celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Smiling, smiling, one little pumpkin smiling, smiling, one little pumpkin smiling, smiling, one little pumpkin is happy. Yeah. Because they have a smile on their face. 
So good job, Michael and Ruby. Good job, Ruby and Michael. <laughs> good job. You guys are doing great today. Thank you so much. All right, so next up, we are going to do a little counting. Okay, we had some fun. Now we have to learn how to count. All right, let me get out of this mode. Let me share my screen. I meant to present it, not share. So if you guys can all look at the screen, we'll give Michael the first turn and then we'll let Miss Ruby do the second one, okay? So first up, we will have Michael choose, okay? So it says, come on and count with me. How many candy corn do you see? So candy corn is a special treat that we get around Halloween time. Okay, so there are options right here. We have number one, two, three, and number four. All right, I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see Michael. I see. All right, Michael Montez, are you putting up two fingers, buddy? You are very good job. Let me get out of the presentation mode so I can move this. Good. Michael put up two fingers because he counted one. And I kind of gave you a hint because I made the two bigger than the other ones. Did you notice that this two was bigger? Mm -hmm. Good. So I'm going to take this two and put it over here. Let me get this out of the way so our friends at home can watch this later. So we have two candy corn. I see two candy corn. Good job, Michael. Very good job. All good right. job, Michael. It's Ruby's turn now, okay? We yeah, Ruby. All yeah, right, Miss Ruby, come and count with me. How many candy corn do you C, okay, Ruby, we're going to count. Let's count one, two, three, four. And over here we have one, two, three, four. Is this the right one, Ruby? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, good. I'm gonna move it over for you and make it smaller so we can read our sentence. Okay, so I see four candy corn. Candy, how fun. Good job, Ruby. Is that or candy corn? What was the question, April? Are you on the four candy corns? I am. Do you see it okay? I see only two. Me yeah, too. Yeah, I see only two. Really? Yeah, only two. Oh, it says sharing is pause. Bring your shared window to the front. Oh, resume share. Do you see four now? No. Two. Still, still two. Okay, let me. Let me try that again, because on my screen, I see something different. Thank you for showing me that, April. Yeah, no problem. Okay, what about now? Do you see four? Yes. Okay, thank you for telling me. On my screen, I could see this. That was silly, huh? Okay, let's try that again. One, One two, three, three four. four. Good 
good job. And Ruby, you can use your words. I see four candy corn. This is the sign for candy. Okay. Good job, Ruby. Can we all clap for Ruby? Good work, Ruby. So next up, I just have some announcements to make for everybody, and I'll share this on the class Facebook and Dojo as well. Um, next Wednesday, October 21st, we're going to be doing our third distance learning drive through um, that's actually going to be a special day, and we're going to be doing a trunk or treat drive through where you can get your flu shot and pick up your distance learning materials and get some candy. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be a very fun day. Yeah, and you can see right here. You don't even have to get out of your car to get your flu shot. We're going to have our nurses, Mary, hey, Alice, and Lori, give you a flu shot in your car, okay? They're opening up the flu shots for any member in the family. So if mom and dad and brother and sister want a flu shot, Please let me know, and Mary Alice will make sure that everyone gets a mm -hmm. shot, okay? It'll be completely free, and I know that they're also, Thank you, Mary. they're also handing out toothbrushes, and they're going to be handing the personal protective equipment out, too. So if you need any PPE, it'll be available during our drive through next Wednesday, October 21st, okay? And then our classroom will be having a trunk or treat also, and we'll be giving out candy. So it'll be a very fun day. Do you guys have any questions about the drive through No? Okay. So then next on our list, just to give you guys a heads up, on October 26th, there will be no school because um, I have a professional development day. Wednesday the 11th, there will be no school for Veterans Day. And then November 23rd through the 27th, we will be off for Thanksgiving break. Okay. So the last thing that I have on the agenda today, and I was hoping that more friends would join us um, so we could vote. Um, I have been speaking with my staff and I've been speaking to some parents and we're wondering if we could change the time of our Zoom call to 10.30. Um, that way we can get a quicker start to our day. Um, so maybe if Ruby's care home provider and Michael's care home provider, could you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if 1030 Zoom time works for you in the future? Would 1030 work in the future for Michael to join Zoom? over 12 o'clock if we change the time. Oh, let me, you're, you're muted. Uh, maybe I can. Um, would 10.30 work for Michael to do Zoom over 12 o'clock? No, I cannot. No, would 10 o'clock no. work or no? No. Only 12 o'clock will work? For me, yeah. Okay. Because we have already a schedule for our staffing. For We have, uh, each one of us have scheduled for one of our clients. Okay. Not the problem. I will put him down as a no. I was just trying to see what would work for other people. Okay. Um, and Ruby, does 
10.30 work for you, children? Is there anybody in the queue that can help speak to your group? No? All right, well, I will reach out to the parents and see if um, no, it's it's time time to 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 uh, but we will, uh, I will let everybody know once I hear from other parents. Does that sound Stop. good? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. I'm going to stop sharing and we will take our group photo really quickly and then we will move on with our day. All right. Okay. All right. Michael and Ruby, are you ready? We're going to take a picture. One, two, three. Cheese. Three cheese. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Tomorrow. Um, we'll keep 12 o'clock for now, unless I tell you differently, okay? So we'll meet tomorrow at 12 o'clock until I get a consensus with all the parents. Sound good? Okay, see you tomorrow at 12, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B